Hi Scorpios, this is your weekly reading. It's for all my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. We are going to be covering a little bit of health, career work, finances, and love, romance, dating, or relationships. And then this week we're going to do an animal spirit message, but with a different deck that I don't think I've ever used online. Just personally, but I think you guys will like it, okay? And um, I'll have a link to the extended reading below in the description box if you're interested afterwards as a part two and a continuation. And then for this week, we have Pisces season beginning. We have the North Node in Aries conjuncting uh, Chiron in Aries, Mercury moving into Pisces, and a Virgo full moon. But I did already run that down in the February mid-monthly reading, so you can refer back to that video if you're interested in hearing that, okay? All right, so let's get started, my dear Scorpios. What's your animal spirit for this week? All right, you guys got the spider, the spider, but let's see. So the spider symbolism is protection aid and wisdom and it says here that the spiders are found throughout the world and appear in legends of nearly all peoples they are frequently depicted as helpers protectors and creators the ojibwa people uh, hang hoops of spider webs over their infants to protect them from harmful influences other native american people particularly those of the Southwest, associate, associate the spider with a grandmother spirit who lives underground. The spider grandmother is a source of wisdom and a link to the underworld. She rises from her realm to offer advice, particularly before a dangerous or large undertaking. The spider woman in this painting, draped in a thick robe with flowing hair and with a ghostly face, recalls the legends of the ancient grandmother. Interesting. Bet you never heard that version, right? Kind of cool. So maybe you guys will see a spider, catch a spider this week. I'm not really fond of spiders, but that may be your sign or a special message for some of you. Maybe your grandmother's trying to get in touch with you. <laughs> All right. So my dear Scorpios, when it comes to your health for this week, you guys got the Nine of Cups. Nice. So it looks like you are thriving. You're feeling good. You may have some yummy drinks this week, whether that's like your favorite juice, alcoholic beverage, hot chocolate, coffee, tea, whatever floats your boat. Um, I almost feel like something is settling, feels good in your in your stomach. Maybe it's like, maybe you had a good soup or porridge or uh, some kind of liquid or a drink of some sort. And you're like, ah that felt good and I kind of feel like whatever you have whether it's like a soup drink or something might have been a little bit pricey or maybe a little something that you don't usually have only like certain and like you know uh once in a while so when you do have it, you're like mm, this feels good or it tastes so good I really enjoy it maybe it's like one of your favorites even though it's like kind of like a luxury it's not something you have every day but you may get to enjoy it this week because you're treating yourself and maybe you're treating yourself because you've completed something and you feel proud of yourself you're like ah oh, you know what I deserve this I've been working hard I don't I haven't had any moment to really rest that much I deserve this I earned this and ah it tastes so good or it feels so good Mm. So you could be uh, feeling really proud of yourself or feeling just in good spirits. And so you treat yourself um, to some kind of soup, porridge or like liquid drink or some sort. And you're just like, mm, that felt good. That tasted good. Okay. All right. Then when it comes to your work, school, career and finances, you guys got the Ace of Wands. Nice. So there's some opportunity for a new beginning that maybe something you're really passionate about. Maybe it's like a side project or something that involves your like creative side, arts, um, passions, motivations, uh, maybe some kind of imagination or creative outlet that you have, or you have this new idea for your work, school, business, you know, uh, uh, side hustle whatever the case is and you're gonna take action on it or you may have the chance to actually like go after it or express it or assert yourself or start doing this thing or maybe you're like coming out with it and you're like so excited because you're gonna be promoting it or whatever the case is uh, you may have new ideas new imagination or you just have that chance to start something new or uh, start something or begin something that you're passionate about that you love and you're like ah oh, this is so exciting okay could also be coming from a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius but I feel like this is your ideas something that you've been working at or something that you've been wanting to manifest and there's a lot of excitement maybe behind this so I feel like it's very positive and probably something that will maybe make you money or make you more money so congrats on whatever this project or 
new investment or new business, whatever this uh, could be for you. Okay. All right. Um, and your best bet here is just to take action, you know, like just don't think about it too much, just take action and then you will see how it goes. Okay. Then when it comes to your love, romance, dating, or relationships, you guys got on your side, the five of pentacles, three of cups and the hangman. So some of you may have Pisces somewhere in your chart, possibly. Then on this other side for this other person, this can be the past, present, or future situation, or all three, all of the above, we have the Page of Cups, the High Priestess, and the World. So as far as who you could be dealing with, um, this could definitely be a Pisces or another water sign like yourself, Scorpio, Cancer, um, or really can be any other sign, but we do have uh, here water signs, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio possibly, but it doesn't have to be. Could be any other sign, could just be energy this person is embodying, playing out, or maybe like a mix match of one of those, okay? Um, I am seeing that maybe this person's first, middle, or last name could start with the B as in boy or J as in jam. They could be younger than you, um, if not by age, maybe by experience, or they appear, they look or act younger than they are. Uh, could also be someone that's from a different place or maybe has a different culture, ethnicity, background, religion, speaks a different language than you or is biracial or there's distance. So they live in a different place, city, state, country, continent, whatever the case is. You guys could have met or maybe you connected online, social media, dating apps, you know the drill. Um, what else? And I feel like this is someone new or it could be someone new or someone that you're going to... Um, that may be coming into your life very, very soon. So uh, it looks like you guys may receive a very nice message or a sweet message that will brighten your day. And it comes at just the right time because maybe at that time when you do receive it, you were feeling kind of down or alone, lonely, and you weren't doing anything, or you're just kind of feeling like meh, like lonely. And boom, you receive a message or someone texts you or someone messages you and they're very sweet about it. This person's very nice, very sweet, very compassionate, considerate. They give you a compliment. Or they're just like, hey, how you doing? Or I'm so-and-so, nice to meet you. Or, you know, they just start talking to you or they're very nice or they're giving you a compliment of some sort. And you can feel that it's very sincere, okay? They're just very sweet and they're intuitive as well. So you kind of feel like you don't have to explain that much. Like they just get you um, or they just like understand you and you guys vibe like there's this like emotional like telepathic vibe connection between the two of you and this is going to cheer you up right away you're going to feel so happy you're so excited to hear from them to talk to them and with someone you just kind of, you just kind of vibe with you connect with it's going to feel like you're instantly like best friends or instantly just like good friends good buddies and i feel like this is someone you can trust and you can see those traits or those characteristics because they are someone who you can keep a se can keep a secret. They're not very just out there and like you know, all over the place. Uh, they're more pri private, quiet, reserved. But they showed interest to you, and they put themselves out there. And I do see that this is someone who is probably really intuitive or even maybe a little bit psychic. And so you feel like they can read you, like they already know you and you don't have to explain too much or like you guys don't have to have like surface level conversations. It kind of feels like you're able to go deeper, which is what you probably usually enjoy anyways. Um, and like I said, it's kind of refreshing or just feels ah when they just get you, they just understand you. You don't have to like over explain yourself. And I think you're going to be left kind of just thinking about this person, daydreaming, kind of wondering, man, where they come from or what's this person doing or that you're just kind of feeling, feeling out the, feeling out the energies and you're in good spirits now. You're going to be feeling by the end of the week, kind of like good emotions because of this person. And it's like they're opening your world and uh, I feel like they, yeah, could be from a different place or maybe different than what you expected or different than what you're used to dealing with. Um, and maybe this is someone who's traveling and so they are connecting with you and they're from a different place, but they wanted to meet or talk to you. Um, and I feel like this is someone who is uh, very well-rounded and will maybe help you become more open-minded as well or teach you about and show you different things. And you're like, well, you know what? That's cool. I never, know, I never knew that or I've never experienced that before. Like, thanks for showing me or teaching me. And so you're really liking the energies with this person. And I feel like there is someone that you can definitely trust and you, your, um, your connection with them feels really 
uh, organic. It feels really natural. And so naturally, of course, you're gonna go with it. Um, and so yeah, right away, just you guys are hitting it off. You're feeling good, you're feeling happy. And I think you see that they have traits of someone that like you can trust and confide in and they're not um, stuck up or they're not afraid to be vulnerable. They're very like open and friendly, but they're not just open friendly to everyone. They just show, they are interested in you. And so they're showing a little bit of vulnerability and compassion and sweetness. And I think you like that. You're definitely gonna like that about this person or whoever this is, if you're already like with them or whatever. So a very sweet message. It's gonna brighten your day and you're gonna be in a good mood and you guys are gonna be celebrating or just talking a lot, sharing feelings and emotions, telling stories, connecting, growing, all that stuff. And um, I do feel like there could be also like a time zone difference possibly if this is someone from a different place. Okay. All right. So let's continue this on in the extended reading to get more information to see where their energy is at. What are they thinking? What are they feeling when it comes to you? What they don't want you to know that maybe you should know and what their next action move will be towards you. And then follow it up with your advice at the end. Okay. So we'll continue this on in the extended. Link will be below. I'll see you guys there. But I'll see you for your next reading. All right. Take care. Bye.